powerful earthquake jolted southern Mexico and caused four persons to lose their life. The 7.5 magnitude earthquake centered on the Pacific coast in the state of Oaxaca damaged some structures and caused buildings to sway in Mexico City. Currently, four persons have been confirmed to have passed away according to officials and the assessment of the damage and casualties continues this is a summary of what is known the powerful quake is centered near the pacific coast in oaxaca and it was felt hundreds of miles away at least four people have passed but early reports indicate that damage was not extensive the quake has placed people on the lookout for a possible tsunami. Oaxaca state has been devastated by earthquakes before. The powerful and strong earthquake shook southern Mexico on Tuesday and caused four persons to lose their life. It also resulted in buildings shaking that were located hundreds of miles away and prompted residents to flee their homes and offices to seek safety on the streets under open sky. The earthquake's magnitude was 7.5, according to Mexico's National Seismological Service, and it was centered on the Pacific Ocean, about 14 miles off the coast, south of Cruceta, a beach town in the southern state of Osaka that has been popular with tourists. It struck at 10.29 a.m. local time in Mexico. The U.S. Geological Summary, however, estimated that the magnitude was 7.4. It is not unusual for preliminary measurements to vary. Another earthquake estimated by the USGS at 4.9 magnitude struck the same region on Monday night. By early afternoon on Tuesday, the president said there had been 147 aftershocks to the larger earthquake, and officials warned that more were expected. Four people have been confirmed to have passed as a result of the earthquake, according to the governor. Information on the toll trickled in throughout the day and the local news reports showed rubble from some damaged buildings in Osaka. Fortunately, there was no major damage. It was posted earlier in the afternoon in a series of Twitter posts, relaying updates from Mr. Leon and others. A phone pressed to his ear, the president said, collapses, some broken glass, signage fell, walls but nothing serious. Mr. Lopez Obrador urged everyone to remain attentive to further seismic warnings and to stay calm. I hope and I wish with all my soul that there will be no more damaging aftershocks. The area closest to the epicenter is largely rural and the nearest sizable city is Oxcaca, the state capital, more than 90 miles away. Buildings swayed in Mexico City, more than 300 miles to the northwest, but local news reports showed little damage beyond debris that had fallen away from some building facades. The mayor of Mexico City asserted that neither the city's security command center nor officials conducting overflights of the municipality had reported any serious impacts from the earthquake. The administrator of Cruz del Mar has stated that the earthquake was horrible. It was like one of those movies, he said, audibly shuddering. But she has also added that apart from some roof tiles that were knocked loose and that fell to the ground, the property suffered no serious damage. Though some hotels and resort properties in the area, commonly known as Huatucolca, had begun to reopen in the past week after an extended shutdown in response to the pandemic, some remain closed to guests. The state oil company 
has reported that the earthquake caused a temporary shutdown of its refinery in the port city of Salina Cruz and that a fire there was quickly put out. People are expecting a tsunami. The U.S. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration has stated that there was a potential threat of a tsunami along the coast of Mexico, Guatemala, Honduras, and El Salvador, but has withdrew the advisory a few hours later. The agency's ocean buoys recorded small seismic waves after the quake, too small to have much noticeable effect. Powerful offshore earthquakes can trigger devastating tsunamis like the ones that hit Fukushima, Japan in 2011, and Ase, the Indonesian province in 2004, but it is difficult to predict which quakes will cause such destructive waves. Many Mexicans have grown accustomed to earthquakes, taking them as immutable fact of life. The country is situated near the colliding boundaries of several sections of the Earth's crust. In 2017, at least 90 people passed after an earthquake with a magnitude of 8.2 struck offshore in the middle of the night, mostly affecting the states of Oaxaca and Chiapas. That earthquake did generate a tsunami. Aftershocks continued for days as volunteers in Jushitan, a provincial city of 100,000, clawed through mounds of debris left by collapsed buildings searching for survivors. Weeks later, a separate quake near Mexico City caused at least 248 persons to lose their lives, including children who were buried beneath a collapsed school. In 1985, a devastating earthquake caused 10,000 people in Mexico City to lose their life. After the disaster, construction codes were reviewed and stiffened. Today, Mexico's construction laws are considered as strict as those in the United States or Japan. The 8.2 earthquake in 2017, which was the most powerful earthquake in Mexico in a century, occurred near the Middle American Trench, a zone in the Eastern Pacific where one slab of the Earth's crust, called the Cocos Plate, is sliding under another, the North American, in a process called subduction. Subduction releases vast amounts of energy, and if the slip occurs under the ocean, this can move a lot of water suddenly. Subduction zones, which ring the Pacific Ocean, caused the world's largest earthquakes and the most devastating tsunamis. We wish the people in Oaxaca and Mexico City and the entire country of Mexico the best with their recovery from this earthquake. We also hope that there won't be a recurrence anytime soon of this earthquake as they try to go on with their lives. We also hope that there won't be a tsunami that results from this earthquake. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching the Learning Academy.